Hello, hello everyone! Cheers! So when I say I get these questions asked to me like all the time, I really do get these questions asked to me all the single time in my job. And if you're new to my channel, my name is Jeannie and I am a travel agent here in Minnesota. So I invite you to subscribe and follow along. So there's... So I'm gonna go through some of the top questions I get asked all the time. Um, these are gonna be answered obviously specific to myself and my agency as me being a travel agent. So just remember, every travel agency is different. Everyone has their own rules and how they work and everything. So this is just me personally, but um, yeah, I hope this is an interesting video because I'm kind of excited to answer these questions. <laughs> all right, let's get started. <clears throat> all right, so first question I get asked all the time. How do travel agents get paid? So we get paid from our tour operators, airlines, cruise lines. That's who pays us. We do not get paid by like our clients or anything because there's always a misconception um, from clients. They think they have to pay us. Um, but no, we actually get paid from the airlines and um, all the vendors and stuff that we work with. So we make a commission percentage from um, all the different vendors. So for example, if you were like to book yourself online, then they just like keep that commission. Um, if you book through a travel agent, then that's how they make their living obviously because that's how they get paid. So, right. <clears throat> Number two, does it cost more to work with a travel agent? No, no, it really doesn't cost more. Um, so for me personally, I don't charge any type of uh, planning fees. Some agencies do. Um, like I said, it's just totally depends on the agency. Um, for me specifically, I do not. However, if I've had people who have like contacted me and then uh, I've like helped them a lot, gave them lots of different quotes and stuff, and then they don't book through me, through me um, I will catch on to that and I will have to call you out and say, hey, you know what, I'm sorry, I've spent so many hours helping you, you've never booked through me and so what's going on i'm not going to help you more on another new request if until i have some type of you know planning fee in hand because obviously we don't make money if you don't book so there's that misconception we aren't getting paid at hourly wage so we only get paid for clients who've traveled so um there's that misconception but again for the most part i mean in my five years of being an agent i've only charged like not even four or five planning fees um, because like I've had clients come back to me again and again and I'm like um <laughs> who've never booked through me and I've like spent all this time with them and I'm like okay this is enough I'm not gonna keep working for free and you are not supporting me and I'm doing all this work for you so that's that all right number three do you get to travel for free oh I love this question <laughs> no no, we do not get to travel for free. This is like a huge, huge misconception. So I'm laying it on the line for y'all. We do not get to travel for free. Yeah, like everyone thinks we get to go on all these free trips. And I can tell you right now, that is not how it works. We pay every single penny, just like you would for our trip. So if you like see myself and my husband traveling, we are definitely paying out of pocket, same price that you would. The only small differences is that I would be able to, of course, keep like the commission on that booking, but it's like a tiny amount compared to like the thousands of dollars we spent on the trip. So there's really hardly any discount. The, it's itty bitty, the little bit we make on bookings. There's no big like chunk. Um, so no, we do not travel for fee. We have to pay every single dime out of our own pocket just like you would. And then when I went on agent trips where it's just travel agents traveling only, like my husband can't come with me, um, we are literally working the entire time and we might get a bigger discount if we're doing something like that. So we might get hosted by a resort and they will allow us to stay at the resort free of charge. However, we still have to pay for our airfare, possible transfers, possibly food, you know, baggage, like everything. So. If I've went down to Jamaica, I have easily spent $1,500 just to do this agent trip. So literally, you still have to keep that in mind. Airfare alone can be, you know, eight to a thousand dollars, and if I have to pay that up front before I can go down there, so 
they're still even for agents we might get a discount on the hotel portion if we're on like an agent only trip but we still have to pay a lot of money out of pocket to like get to the destination get to the hotel you know we have all the food time yeah so there's a lot more so no there's no free trips I've never been on a free trip and I do know from talking to agents who've been in the industry from years ago that was more common like airlines would give like agents free flights and stuff but that has been nixed years and years ago like it's not a thing anymore so um yeah there's that so there you have it guys travel agents do not travel for free and I have hundreds of travel agents to back me up on this because it's so funny how many people think we get to travel for free but no we save our pennies and we plan for our trips that's all it is it comes down to budgeting that's that's where it's at there's no difference between myself as an agent and you as a traveler we save our money so we can travel that's that's where it's at all Thanks. right so question number four how do you and your husband travel so much y'all vacation shaming is a real problem the oh must be nice oh I wish I could travel I wish I could go as many places as you go yep 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 hear that all the time and I think it was where so my husband when he had to like go into work at an office job um, <clears throat> he used to get it way more um, now he works at home with me so it's like so much easier we don't have to deal with the whole where are you going this time oh, you're going on another vacation yeah, it's really annoying. And so, anyways, back to the actual question. Um, so, I obviously can go travel and do whatever I want when I want. I don't have, like, a set schedule or anything, so that's easy for me to pick up and go. My husband, um, we have to work around his schedule, of course, because he does work for, you know, a corporation. So, he gets four weeks of vacation, um, and then what we do, we just um, travel over holidays, weekends. We extend, you know, the vacation time out that way so that we can take advantage of, like, already days that are going to be paid off. We literally don't use his vacation time for, like, anything but travel like every single day of his four weeks plus he's salary so he has a little flexibility there so there's wiggle room if we needed like an extra day or two so that's nice um <clears throat> but um we literally don't use any days you know we don't like take a random day off to like go do yard work or something or like go do christmas shopping and like all these things like it's like we always hear people like oh i took the day off because i wanted to do some work at home like we don't do that. We literally take every single day, use it for travel. It is not used for anything but travel. So you got to make a priority in life and that's our priority and that's how we use our vacation time. We stretch it out over weekends and holidays so that we can make the most of it and travel as much as we can. So it's really not hard to travel as much as we do. You just have to be smart with your vacation time. So there's that. Hold please. <clears throat> mochas every morning that's what I drink they're so good anyways okay question number five what is the benefit of working with a travel agent so working with a travel agent is really no different than working with another business who offers services so you can look at you can kind of compare us to like working for an accountant I mean do you you can totally go do your taxes by yourself or do you want to hire a professional and have them do it for you or a lawyer you know you hire a lawyer to help you with you know cases or whatever you might have be having going on so that's how we are we're a service-based industry so you get personal service for your travels so um you are you know get assisted before you travel during your travels if something were to come up and then of course after your travel if something happens so you have an advocate to like back you up if something were to happen otherwise you are like on your own and then you know we also we pretty much work 24 7 like we are always on call for our clients so if like something comes up um, we are there or if um, we can't get to our phone like if we're traveling or something while our, travel, our clients are traveling um, we have like backup agents and or backup um, phone numbers like helpline you don't get that with a um, booking site so and then of course like for myself I do a lot of travel down to the Caribbean and um, Mexico and those and I do actual resort tours and so I have seen a lot of things firsthand and I will tell you like photos online don't do justice for like some of the resorts I've seen like literally things that I have seen I will never put clients in and online it looks like a five-star resort like nope nope 
like it's so looks can be so deceiving online so um, you know personally I only work with four and five star resorts with my agency I will never put a client in anything under a three star like it's not worth it to me nor my client because I want their experience to be amazing because that's what I'm all about. And then um, as agents, we also make like personal connections with resorts and managers and stuff. So we're able to like, if you have special requests or something, we are able to usually get those requests for you more easily um, than if you try to do it yourself. So we just, we have that rapport with um, the resorts as well as, you know, airlines. We can help you quicker. We have like direct numbers and contacts and stuff. And don't even get me started on this pandemic. Hold. Mm. You guys, if you didn't have a travel agent during this pandemic, whoo, I literally had to contact a client who got to their destination um, within like four or five days. Be like, hey, guess what? Border's closing tomorrow. Yeah, there was no time to like fool around. And um, yeah, I was on the phone and um, then all of a sudden they got a notice from the resort that the resort is closing. So literally they had to pack up and leave the next day because that was the last flight out from the country back to their destination. I was on the phone getting things switched. Whole times were horrendous. Literally I was in tears for my clients because I was trying to get through because I mean, like I mentioned, we have direct numbers. However, like things were happening so fast and rapidly during the pandemic that I mean, there was like thousands of agents calling in at the same time. Like, it was madness. It just, it gives me chills thinking of that day. It was, it was, it was a bad day, guys. It was a bad day. Um, but anyways, like, could you imagine being down in a destination and you're going to have to call into the U.S. to the airline and try and get through? The phone numbers for, like, normal customers were like so bogged down, not even accepting calls. You call and it says phone line is busy and they had to get out of the destination. Yeah, I was able to do that. I was able to get them on the next flight out and get them home safe and sound. <sighs> Y'all, that was, that was rough. And I couldn't have imagined being in their shoes and they didn't have a travel agent to do that for them. Like, I couldn't even imagine. So, um, right there, like, is where agents will shine. If something were to happen to you, um, and it's not even like pandemics, like it can be anything, natural disasters, like, you know, political arrests, like everything, like things can happen anytime. So, um, anyways, there's that. So you have that security when you're working for an agent. So again, it just, it all comes down to personal service. Do you want someone to uh, be able to assist you have someone there where you can ask questions? Do you want someone there knowing that you, they have your back if something were to happen? So if you do, travel agents are awesome. So be sure to reach out to your local travel agent um, for future travels. Shout out there to all travel agents. Okay, so number six. Um, I've never worked with a travel agent. How does that process work? This is a super good question. And yeah, it's actually, um, I get a, a lot. Like I have a lot of clients that have never worked with an agent before. So I just, you know, explain my process. So um, for me personally, I keep things so easy for my clients. I have lots of different questions I ask them. If someone contacts me, you know, I narrow down dates, um, what activities they're interested in, what type of destination, you know, narrow down all the things that are required. So once I get all like the details, um, from you of what I am needing and then I work on quotes and I match everything up to your preferences and what you are looking for on a vacation. Um, so it's all again about personal services and me connecting you with the correct you know resort or cruise line or whatever it is you're looking for. Oh that's another thing with a travel agent you can do like payment plans like which you just have like a small tiny little deposit you can like secure packages with. So that's really nice um, too if you don't have all the money to pay up front for a vacation package, um, you can definitely hold it with like a smaller deposit and then you can do like payments. Usually payments aren't due till like 30 to 60 days before you actually travel. So 
another nice perk to working with an agent. Um, but anyway, so then, yeah, so once I send out the quote to you, my clients and, you know, if they have questions or changes, we fine tune all the details before um, booking. And then, of course, like after booking, I just make sure like details are finalized. If you have special requests, I get those sent into the resort. Um, if you have special requests for the airlines, like if you need a wheelchair um, or if you need, you know, any type of um, special room at a resort, like if you need a ground level floor, like if you have any type of ability issues. There's like all these special things that I do um, for my clients um, if they have like different requests like that. So I can send those. And then um, about two or three weeks before clients actually travel, I prepare all final documents for my clients. And personally through my agency, I like to prepare them and I mail out a little packet of travel documents and information. Um, so in that packet, we'll have everything they need for their travels. So they'll have like a full itinerary, like all the information and instructions of like if they get down to the resort, they have transfer set up and all that good stuff. So um, I know some agencies, they just email that out. They don't even like do anything like that. Um, but I do. I, it's all about the personal touches for me like I I feel like it's kind of fun to like be able to like give your client something and say here you know have a really good vacation this is for me and my agency so um that's me specific that's how I work um but yeah I keep it really simple streamlined and um I get so many people when they return from their vacation saying oh my gosh thank you so much for making this so easy for me like I hear that all the time. I've had clients call me and say, Jeannie, I, I just, I have to tell you, thank you. This was like the best experience. I've never worked with a travel agent before and I'm never going to not travel without an agent again. Like this was such a good experience from the beginning all the way to the end. So, and I have the reviews to back that up because I have a lot of really great clients and they're so sweet and I just, I value them so much and they've left me some really, really amazing reviews. So um, I'm so thankful for that and I'm so thankful for all my clients who have supported me, of course. Um, so if you've never worked with a travel agent, be sure to reach out to one in your area because, um, you know, of course everyone's different, but um, yeah. It's all about service and personal service and helping you to make sure you're making the best decision for your vacation and your vacation dollars. All right, and let's go on to the next question. Number seven, do you get any special deals for clients? Yes, you bet we do. We do sometimes get special pricing um, for through the vendors that we work with. And as agents, we get um, access to unpublished airfare. So airfare that is not published to the general public. So for example, like you can go to like Delta's website, look at airfare and it might be, I don't know, $1,500 a person. However, I can go in and I will find unpublished rates, which might only be $1,000 per person or something. So I've saved um, a lot of clients money. When we do like bundled packages, we get different discounts for that too. So, um, if, so we, we, so we get access to unpublished rates that the general public does not have access to. Plus when we do it with a package, there's even greater discounts. There's been so many times when I price out like my own trips and um, I would go like price everything independently, like air on its own, hotel on its own, cars on its own. And then I go like do it all as a package and I like save so much more money because of like the rates that we get. So. Um, Yes, that's huge. And you always have to like remember too, like if you see something online, it's too good to be true. It's usually too good to be true. Trust me. Like it really is in the world of travel because it's nuts the things that are posted and then it's not like what you thought it would be. Okay, let's move on. So, oh yes, this is a good one. Number eight, do you think the price will drop? Okay, so y'all, I'm not a fortune teller. I cannot predict if an airline or a resort or a cruise line is going to drop their price. I, I don't know. It's, it's no different than a stock market. Like pricing fluctuates daily. And I've seen where airfare has like fluctuated like three times in a day. Like it's nuts how much travel um, fluctuates. So I don't know. However, I can tell you that um, it's all about supply and demand. That That's that's the logistics of travel. Supply and demand, if a flight just rapidly starts booking up and or a resort starts booking up for certain days and or a cruise line, prices are gonna go up. Like, that's just how it is. You know, you have millions of people that are able to book into all these same flights, all these same cruises, all these same resorts. Like, it's coming from all over the world. So it's not just me booking, you know, 
this one flight or this one resort. It's happening all day long. So if all of a sudden um, airlines, resorts, whatever, start seeing this quick influx of bookings, they're going to be like, oh, psh, raise the price. You know, I don't know if a group from, I don't know, Tennessee is going to start booking into the same resort I'm trying to book my group and then all of a sudden the prices go up. I don't know that. So, you know, so yeah. So my recommendation is if it's a price that you're comfortable with, book it and don't look back. That's my advice. All right. Number nine, how soon should I book my trip? So this is a really good question. Um, it all comes back to like supply and demand again. So I've always been a fan of like booking really early, like six to eight months out. Um, typically I see usually really good early booking discounts. Um, so that's what I've always been a big fan of. Another reason why I, I prefer to book early is that I get the best selection of flights resorts, rooms, so you have that better selection. Um, like if you wait until, you know, three, four months, two months before you're traveling, you might not have as much selection. And or if there was like a specific resort or area you really wanted to go to and they're just like full already, like prices are gonna be higher. So it's really your call, but I have seen pricing go both ways where it's really low in the beginning um, and then it gets higher the closer you get. Um, and or sometimes I've seen it where it's dropped slightly like in fall time or so. So it's another gamble. It really, it, again, it comes down to supply and demand. Um, so there's just no real way for me to say when should I, when you should book your trip. There's, it's, it's, there's no guaranteeing answer for that. And I will tell you one thing, Tuesday at 3 p.m., that whole thing is the best time to book airfare. Oh my God. Y'all, that is not true. That is not true. There's not. Tuesday at 3 p.m. is the best time to book your airfare because it's the lowest price. That is false. No, no, no. But on a different note, um, too, I can also tell like if a package just seems like way too high. So for example, actually this just happened to me. Um, I had a client, she knew exactly where she wanted to go. She was taking her family and she wanted to go over to Christmas which is the most expensive time of year to travel. So normally pricing is always gonna be higher no matter what if you're traveling over Christmas. And um, packages came out, um, I sent the information over to her, but I told her, like in my email, I'm like, this seems really high. And I was very upfront with her, I'm like, I can't promise you that prices will go down, um, but I do feel like they this just is too high. I told her let's table this for a month and let's see what happens in a month from now. So yeah, it would have been like $9,000 for her and her family. But I, I just, I kind of knew like the resort that she was wanting to go to and like kind of, cause I know it very well and all the package details that were involved with it. I'm like, it just seemed kind of high. So um, she was okay, we tabled it for a month and in a month I was back in touch with her and the price went down $3,000. And I'm like, I told her, I'm like, this is a good price now. So I'm like, this is a bookable price. And so, um, but yeah, so uh, that's another thing too. Like I'm pretty good at knowing if something seems to be a little too high than what I'm used to expecting seeing, you know, with packages. So I'm looking at pricing and availability and things like all day long. So I'm very comfortable and I'm used to knowing like what's, what's high and what's normal. So there's that. All right, I'm traveling with a group of friends and or family. Um, can our hotel rooms be adjoining or a special request? Yes, every single, I, I work with a lot of groups and um, whenever I have large groups, I will always be in touch with the resorts to ask to get rooms close to each other. However, it's still based on the resort's availability, so I, will always send special requests and requests for like rooms to be grouped together. However, if the resort doesn't have like those rooms to be right next to each other, they will try their hardest to get you next or as close to each other as possible if it's not, you know, right next to each other. Um, because, you know, they have clients coming and going all day long. And so, um, you know, I always on behalf of my groups, like they don't even have to ask me. I just like do it <laughs> because like that's, you know, you're traveling with your friends. It's easier to coordinate and do things when you're close to each other's rooms. So and I get that. I totally get that. I personally always send requests to resorts, but like I said, I always tell my clients they cannot be guaranteed because it's always based on resource availability, but resorts really do try to, you know, 
take special requests and honor them. Again, we have direct contacts where we can get in touch with the resort. So yeah. there you have it, guys. I hope this was interesting. Um, a little bit kind of more like behind the scenes with a travel agent. I get these questions all the time. Like, it's amazing how many people ask me these questions. Um, and... I'm totally happy to answer them. So um, I figured, hey, why not answer them here on YouTube? <laughs> so I hope this was interesting. If you have any other questions, definitely comment down in the comments below. I'm happy to answer anything um, that you might have. If you haven't already, please be sure to subscribe for future videos as well as give this video a thumbs up. And we will chat with you guys next time. Bye, guys.